Have you ever wondered about the black history in psychology and how it might have affected the discipline? Hi, my name is Mark from Arizona State University and in this video I'm going to tell you about the top contributions of black psychologists that you've probably never heard about before. 1. The pioneer of race psychology. In 1928, Francis Cecil Sumner studied the origins of racial bias, inequality, and racism. His findings on racism and African American perceptions were so revolutionary that he encountered fierce discrimination when he tried to publish his findings. His work laid the framework for future research on the topic. He was also one of the earliest defendants for better education for African Americans. 2. The first black woman to ever become a psychologist. In 1933, Ines Beverly Prosser made history when she became the first African-American woman to receive a PhD in psychology. She made great contributions to how black children learn in different educational settings and, and how racism affects children's mental health. She found that black students do best both academically and socially when they are around black teachers and classmates. Specifically, she found that African-American children from integrated schools experienced more social maladjustments and felt less secure, which was a barrier to the learning. 3. The Black Intelligence Test Robert Lee Williams studied standardized testing at a very young age. He became the first black psychologist to ever work at a hospital in Arkansas. He created the Black Intelligence Test, which showed that African-Americans were not intellectually inferior to European Americans, but that the differences in speech and experience can skew the IQ results. This was against the mainstream of his time. He was well known as a stalwart critic of racial and cultural biases in the world of IQ testing. He created the term Ebonics to refer to the African American vernacular English. Four. Why are all the black kids sitting together at the cafeteria? The best-selling book by Beverly Daniel Tatum has shaped how race affects education and identity. She's well known for her contributions on the formation of racial identity. She evaluated how racism is harmful to children's education and the importance of embracing racial identity. She emphasized the importance of discussing race in our society as a way to eliminate racism. She paved the way for multicultural psychology through her work on racial identity and how it's developed in childhood. 5. Kenneth and Mommy Clark the Clarks were a husband and wife team famous for studying internalized racism in the research known as the Doll Study. The Doll Study studied black elementary school students and how they perceived black dolls versus white dolls. They found that the children associated black dolls with negative traits and white dolls with positive traits. Yet, the children felt that the black dolls most reflected them, which demonstrated that black children had internalized racial messages about themselves in comparison to white children. This study was later used in court to determine that segregated schools were bad for black children and that uh, they hurt their self-worth, as they showed that it would lead to promoting inequality, something that was not familiar at the time, as segregation was normalized in the society. And that's it. If you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Peace.